The biggest battery in the world was just announced yesterday. The biggest battery ever made in the history of humankind. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. There has been nearly 10,000 new subscribers over the past month. Great to have you guys. However, if you're new, we have done more than 3,200 and something or other videos over the past 24 months since we started this channel. So make sure you check out some of that content. And of course, if you want to see more amazing stuff about renewable energy and electric cars, make sure you're in that little icon notification bell. This massive battery will be built in Australia. In fact, in Western Australia. I lived in Western Australia for two years and it's a beautiful place in the world. There's very few people. There's only two and a half million people across one of the biggest land masses you can possibly imagine. Much of this land mass is a desert and a lot of this desert is being mined for the materials that go into electric cars and into the very batteries that will be used to power this state. Currently, the largest battery in the world is the Moss Landing Energy Storage Facility. It's located in Monterey County, California in the US. It has a capacity of 400 megawatts and 1600 megawatt hours. It was launched in 2020. The second biggest battery in the world, that's called the Dalian Flow Battery Energy Storage Peak Shaving Power Station. That's actually located in China. And when it's completed, it will have a total capacity of 200 megawatts and 800 megawatt hours. However, this new battery is significantly bigger than both of those batteries. It's absolutely mind-blowingly enormous. Reneweconomy.com.au says that the West Australian state government will provide funding for a 2,000 megawatt hour big battery, which is the biggest in Australia and will be the biggest in the world when it's completed. It will be built in the coal center of Collie as it seeks to fast track its switch from fossil fuels to clean energy. What will be happening with this battery? Well, they're going to use wind and solar to charge this battery. This will be amazing because what's happening is the coal power plants are being shut down and this government is like, well, hang on a minute, we can make way more money selling energy than we can coal. That's their plan. I'll actually put a link in the description to my video about their plan and how they plan to become the world's largest exporter of energy per capita within the space of only 10 years. Now, this new battery will be built by the state-owned utility Synergy, and it's part of a $3 billion package in the state's budget that includes a new 800 megawatt hour battery at Quinana and support for several large-scale wind projects and transmission upgrades. So what does that mean? Well, two of the biggest batteries in the world will be located in Western Australia. This is truly a revolutionary moment in history. It comes a day after the government released new modeling as part of a plan to build an incredible 51 gigawatt of new wind, solar, and storage capacity to upgrade its grid so it can power the capacity to make its own green hydrogen and export that all around the world to mine critical minerals for battery packs and other green industries. Obviously, the entire state will be 100% renewable powered. The Colley battery will be sized at 500 megawatts and have four hours of storage, meaning it will have a total of 2000 megawatt hours capacity. It will be finished in its completion by 2025, not long away, it's only two years, which means it will be bigger than the planned Waratah super battery in New South Wales, which is 850 megawatts and 1,680 megawatt hours. That means the two biggest batteries in the world will be located in Australia. One on one side of the country in Western Australia and one on the other side of the country in the east of Australia. This mega battery that we built in the, on the east of Australia in Waratah will actually replace a coal power station, one of the biggest in Australia. French renewable energy and storage developer Noon Energy has also flagged a potential big battery of up to 1,000 megawatts and 2,000 megawatt hours at Collie. But that is a separate project. But that would mean though, if that project does get completed, Western Australia would have the two biggest batteries anywhere in the world. 
That, my friends, is mind-blowing. Synergy will build a 200 megawatt battery with four hours of storage, which is 800 megawatt hours at Quinana, effectively the second stage of the first 100 megawatts, 200 megawatt hour Quinana battery that is already working right now. And basically, what they're saying is, the more batteries we build, the more money we make, or the more money we save, and then the more money we make. State Energy Minister Bill Johnson says those two new batteries will cost a combined $2.3 billion. Now, why is this happening? Well, it's what I've been saying on this channel since I started. The cost of batteries is going down. The cost of solar is going down. The cost of wind continues to go down. All these technologies, the prices continue to go down, making them more and more cost efficient, meaning coal is dying. Gas is dying. Now, you may not see it in your state right now, but it most certainly is happening. And wherever you are in the world, it will happen in your city as well. It's just a matter of time. Those large scale batteries will be part of an essential West and Australian energy future, said the country, collecting excess energy from the state's vast rooftop solar during the day and releasing green energy where it's needed at peak times, said the state energy minister. Basically, Western Australia is saying, you know what, we can have all these houses in one of the sunniest places in the world, one of the sunniest places in the world. That's what Western Australia is. When I lived there, I don't remember it ever being not sunny. I'm serious. There were so few days when it wasn't sunny all day that I don't even remember them. And I lived there for two years. Johnston said the new state budget will also include $870 million to fund 210 megawatts of large scale renewables, including Synergy's 150 megawatt King Rocks battery project and expansion of another big battery that's in the state as well. Batteries have become cheaper and governments all around the world, or especially in America and Australia, are installing massive battery packs. Now, China is doing this as well. The Southwest Interconnected System, which it's called, Western Australia's main electricity grid is in the middle of a significant transformation, moving from a high emission thermal generation base, in other words, moving from basically fossil fuels to complete renewable energy generation, excess generation. They want to create massive amounts of excess energy and then turn that energy into other things, whether that's mining production or the creation of green hydrogen. The funding also includes $126 million for grid upgrades and studies revealed along with the government's new 20-year plan that will provide a massive upgrade to the grid and see tens of gigawatts of large-scale solar and storage. Basically, right now, a lot of solar is being wasted. All of this sun that we're getting during the day, all of it, a lot of it isn't being stored, right? This is a way to store all of that excess energy and not waste any of it. The future of Australia's energy grid is mind-blowingly amazing. People said, don't buy an EV, don't buy an electric car. It runs on coal. They run on coal. They pollute more than gasoline. They pollute more than petrol. Now, a lot of Aussies say I'm being exaggeratory here, but I'm sorry. This is what millions of Australians literally believe today. It is. They really believe this. They believe our entire energy network grid is coal-based. They don't realize that South Australia is almost 100% renewables. Tasmania, same thing. Canberra, same thing. But eventually the media will actually tell these people who are, I don't know, lacking in intellect or education that actually Australia is running on 100% renewables. How long will that take? I don't know. But by the time we get to 2030, we'll be at more than 80% renewables. That's less than seven years away. That means that every electric car in Australia, within the space of 10 years, will be running only on power from the wind, the sun, or some other form of renewable, clean, green energy. That is a future to look forward to. That is a future that's worth telling your kids about. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.